Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll discuss solutions to the questions in paper 2 of the 2014 JE Advanced Physics question paper. Let's move on to match the following starting with question 17. So we are given four charges Q1 and Q4 and there's a point Q here and for different values of the signs of the charges we need to find out the direction of the force on a particle of positive charge Q. So which basically means the direction of electric field because this charge is positive. We know the electric field due to all four of them will be radial. Whether it will be radially outward or inward really depends on uh, really depends on what sign those charges possess. Right. This is A, this is 2. So in option P all four charges are positive. So all four of them will have radially outward electric fields. So the sum will be in this direction by symmetry which is the positive y direction. So P will be option 3. In Q we have Q1 and Q2 are positive so they will give it in this direction but Q3 and Q4 are negative. So they will actually have electric field in this direction and by symmetry the sum will be in this direction or the positive x direction which will be option 1. Let's look at option R now. I'll remove the arrows for the sake of clarity. Uh, so for option R we have, hang on, yeah so this is how they are, they're all symmetric. Option R we have Q1 and Q4 are positive. Right, so Q4 gives us like this and Q1 gives us like this. Q2 and Q3 are negative, so this is in this direction, this is in this direction. So we can already sell, tell that it will be in the y direction by symmetry, but it will be in the negative y direction because Q2 and Q3 are closer, so their contribution will be greater than Q1 and Q2. The magnitude of these two forces will be greater than the magnitude of these two forces. So it will be in the minus y direction, which is option 4. S has to be option 2, but let's check anyway. Q1 and Q3 are positive, so this one and this one. And then Q4 and Q2 are negative. So Q2 gives me this one and Q4 gives me this one. Again the sum is in the x direction and Q2 and Q3 determine what the direction will be because they are closer and both of them give a magnetic field towards the left so it will be towards the left which means it's in the minus x direction which is option 2. So 3, 1, 4, 2 which gives me the answer is option A. So the answer to this problem is option A. Let's look at question 18. So we are given four lenses. So these are four lenses and we want to find out the focal lengths of these. So it's easy. All we really need to do is uh, the for what is the formula? The formula is 1 by F is equal to mu minus 1 times 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. In this case 1 by F will be mu is 1.5. So 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2 times 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. <coughs> now the whole key in this question is to put up the proper signs. And once you put up the proper signs the answer will come. Find the focal lens for each of the two lenses then just use 1 by F is equal to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2. Right. So let's do this for each of them individually. Let's do it for P. In P, just 1 by F will be 1 by 2 times, uh, now this is 1 and this is 2, right? So 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. R1 is positive, R2 is negative. Both of them have a magnitude R, right? So 1 by R minus minus 1 by R. So half of 2 by R. So which means 1 by F is equal to 1 by R which means F is equal to R and they both have the same thing right so 1 by R plus 1 by R that is 2 by R which means for P the answer is R by 2 now let's look at Q in Q we have 1 by F is equal to 1 by 2 times now 1 has a radius of infinity and 2 has a radius of minus R so 1 by infinity minus minus 1 by R Right, this is what it gives me. The whole question here depends on the signs. You have to use the right signs. So this gives me 1 by F is equal to 1 by 2R. Right. Now 1 by 2R is for the first one. So 1 by F1 is 1 by 2R. What is it for the second one? 
1 by F2 is equal to half, which is mu minus 1, into, now this is 1 by R and this is infinity. The first one is positive. Every radius towards the right is positive. 1 by R minus 1 by infinity. So 1 by F2 is also 1 by 2R. Their sum will be 1 by R. So for this, the answer is R. So for Q, the answer is R. What is it for R? 1 by F1 is equal to half of now this is infinity, this is positive r. So 1 by infinity minus 1 by r, which means 1 by f1 is equal to minus 1 by 2r. And if you take the other one, this is negative and this is infinity. So you will get minus 1 by r minus 1 by infinity, again minus 1 by 2r for the second one as well. You add them up, you will get minus 1 by r. So for this one, the answer will be minus r, not r. Right, the negative of that. And in this one, we've already seen f is equal to r for the first one. So 1 by f, this is for s, is equal to 1 by r plus, for the second one, we just saw what it is right now, minus 1 by 2r. So minus 1 by 2r. So 2 by 2r minus 1 by 2r is 1 by 2r, means this is 2r. Which means this is option 1, this is option 4, this is 3, and this is, hang on, 2, 4, 3, and 1. 2, 4, 3, 1 is the answer, which gives me option B. So the answer to this question is option B. Quite a simple question, but you have to make sure you use the right signs. Every radius, every surface like this has a radius of curvature positive because it's towards the right. Every surface like this has a radius of curvature negative because it's towards the left. Thank you.